You know, I knew about concussions, but you know, when I was growing up, concussion was defined by being out cold, pretty much, uh, and seeing stars. Um, you know, not like it is today. Did you know or think that you had had concussions? You know, there were a couple times that I, you know, uh, probably in my college and, and pro career that, uh, you know, at the time I got dinged up and, you know, a little dizzy and kind of knew that it was a concussion, but, uh, you know, it, it definitely wasn't a diagnosed concussion at the time. How many do you think you had before you actually knew you were having concussions? I didn't, I don't think I had very many, but, uh, you know, uh, I mean, the ones that I knew about, I, I knew about. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure if there was any that, uh, you know, would be diagnosed now that, you know, I would have felt uh, back when I was playing. How many of the ones that you knew about did you have? About three or four. Would you have continued to play if you knew, ne knew then what you know now about concussions? Oh, you know, that's a tough question. I probably would. You know, I, I'd want to be out there. Um, you know, none of my concussions, uh, you know, had me out cold, uh, had me, you know, uh, in a state where I felt I was, uh, you know, not uh, able to perform and, and go out there and, and have my senses and wits about me. But I'm sure now, you know, with all the, uh, you know, with all the studies and, and research that's out there, you know, I know now that I really didn't have all my wits, uh, you know, even though I felt that I did. Would you have done anything differently? No, I, I don't think I would have. Uh, you know, I'd probably do do everything all over again. I, I'd expect that the medical staff would, uh, you know, uh, might have kept me out on one of one or two of those games. Though. Speaking of medical staff and trainers and coaches, did you ever feel pressure to return too soon, either in the same game or a subsequent practice or game? You know, I never felt pressure from anyone else. I that was more more internally. Um, you know, I, I wanted to be out there. It was always, you know, a job security issue. Uh, you know, as an athlete, you always, you know, you never want anyone else to take your place. So, uh, you know, whether it was a, a head injury or any other injury, you know, if I was able to go out there and perform, that's what I wanted to do. I, uh, I've had, uh, over my career, I played about 10 years and had a number of concussions looking back and then some, a couple very serious ones. I uh, was hospitalized once and uh, then post-career, uh, had an episode of a uh, blackout episode and was hospitalized for a few days and the doctors didn't know what was happening and then real severe vertigo and vomiting all over and um, uh, some seizure activity and things like that, um, which was quite concerning and to not only me but to the doctors because they didn't know what was going on. Uh, so uh, the answer pretty much just came back. The only thing they can relate it to is my activity from playing football and the multiple concussions that I received. Did you ever feel pressure to return to a game either when you had a concussion or too soon to practice? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the sport of football especially is uh, you know one of those sports that you're expected to go. Uh, it's not a question, you know. As a, as a player, you pride yourself on uh, being there. That's part of it, you know, that toughness side of it. That, that was instilled in you as a, as a kid, that you got to push it, that you got to go. You're, you got to be there for your team and your teammates. So uh, that over, overrode a lot of, you know, decisions that would make more sense to not play, um, you know, because you had to be there for your guys and your team. How are you feeling these days? Do you still feel the effects of the concussions? You know what? Uh, I realize that uh, when they occur, they A, occur more easily, and B, uh, require more time off. So uh, I may have had my last match. I may have uh, one more left in me. But I, I, the last time I, I felt like I had a concussion, I, I, I drew the line and said, I can't, I can't do this anymore. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.